Thank you so much for helping this small channel reach over 100 subscribers. Your support means the world to me, and I'm truly grateful that you have taken the time to watch my videos and liked them. This lets me know that you all want more Shoutout TV, and I'm happy to deliver on that. I'll keep making videos and making them better for you all. Now let's get back to the video. What is an alligator? Alligators are large semi-aquatic reptiles that belong to the Alligatoridae family, which makes them close relatives of crocodiles, but distinct in many ways. There are only two species of alligators, the American alligator, found in the southeastern United States, and the critically endangered Chinese alligator, native to eastern China. The American alligator is much larger and can grow up to 15 feet long, while the Chinese alligator is smaller, reaching about 5 to 7 feet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I may be a dinosaur, but I know something's not right. Claudius, you just did a video on crocodiles. Why are you doing one on alligators? Aren't they basically the same? Aren't you just wasting our time? Rawr! Well, although they look similar, they are vastly different. Here are the key differences between the two alligators and crocodiles. One of the easiest ways to tell them apart is their snout. Alligators have a broad, U-shaped snout that's better suited for crushing prey like turtles, while crocodiles have a longer, V-shaped snout designed for gripping fish and other prey. Crocodiles, when their mouths are closed, the upper and lower teeth are visible, give them a jagged smile, while alligators' upper teeth are only visible when shut. Crocodiles have lighter, tanned olive leaf coloration, while alligators are darker, typically black or dark gray. But those aren't the only differences. Stick around as I'll go through much more. Alligators spend most of their time in or near the water, where they are expert ambush predators. They are incredibly patient, often lying still for hours, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. This makes them extremely efficient hunters in their freshwater habitats. Alligators are also firmer regulators, meaning they use their environment to control their body temperature. You'll often see them basking in the sun to warm up or slipping into the water to cool off. Talk about a nice suntan! Despite their fearsome reputation, alligators are generally shy and avoid humans whenever possible. They are territorial creatures and often establish clear boundaries with other alligators using vocalizations or displays of dominance. During the mating season, male alligators become more aggressive as they compete for mates and protect their territory. For females, they can be aggressive when protecting their young. Outside of this period, however, they are relatively calm and solitary animals. While crocodiles are known to be more aggressive, alligators are less confrontational. However, they will defend their territory fiercely if they feel threatened. Alligators are surprisingly vocal creatures. They communicate using bellows, hisses, grunts, and even ultrasonic vibrations. During the mating season, males perform low frequency bellows that create ripples on the water, signaling their dominance and attracting females. Baby alligators chirp to alert their mother or siblings, and adults may hiss as a warning to potential threats. These vocalizations are crucial for maintaining territory and coordinating social interactions. American alligators are commonly found in freshwater habitats like swamps, rivers, and lakes in Florida, Louisiana, and other southeastern states. The Chinese alligator, on the other hand, is critically endangered and found in only a few small areas in China. Unlike crocodiles, which can tolerate salt water thanks to their specialized salt glands, alligators are strictly freshwater reptiles. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons or the crocodiles might just leap out of your screen and eat you. <laughs> Chapter 2 Prey and Predators Alligators are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat almost anything they can catch. Their diet includes fish, turtles, birds, and small mammals. Larger alligators can even take down deer wild pigs. They use their powerful jaws and sharp teeth to grip their prey, often dragging it underwater to drown it. However, alligators are also known to scavenge when the opportunity arises. Crocodile attacks on humans are significantly more frequent and often more severe than alligator attacks. Globally, crocodiles are responsible for approximately 1,000 human fatalities each year. In contrast, alligator attacks are relatively rare. For instance, in Florida, which has a significant alligator population, there have been 26 fatalities from unprovoked alligator attacks between 1948 and 2022. This stark difference is attributed to the more aggressive nature of crocodiles and their proximity to human populations in various parts of the world. However, 
there are some significant cases involving alligators and humans that have happened just recently. 1. Fatal Attack in St. Lucie County In February 2023, an 85-year-old woman was killed by an alligator while walking her dog in a 55-plus community in St. Lucie County, Florida. This incident highlighted the risk of alligator encounters in residential areas. 2. Goose Creek Diver Attack In April 2023, diver Will Georgitis was attacked by an alligator while diving for fossilized shark teeth in the Cooper River near Goose Creek, South Carolina. The alligator clamped onto his arm and dragged him underwater, but Georgitis managed to escape with injuries. This rare attack underscored the potential dangers of diving in alligator inhabited waters. 3. North Fort Myers Attack In September 2024, 84-year-old Dolores Bopple was attacked by a 7-foot alligator while walking her dog near a pond in North Fort Myers, Florida. She sustained significant injuries but survived, and her dog was unharmed. This incident serves as a, another reminder of the importance of caution in areas known to be inhabited by alligators. Although somewhat tragic, these incidents highlight the importance of awareness and caution in areas where alligators are present, especially near bodies of water in regions like Florida and South Carolina. Always be careful and do what you can not to mess these creatures as some attacks are unavoidable. But the lack of deaths really does show us that alligators are really not as scary as some people make them out to be. Still be careful though. Adult alligators have very few natural predators due to their size and strength. However, young alligators are much more vulnerable. I wonder if there's a theme here. Birds, raccoons, large fish, snakes, and even other alligators can prey on hatchlings. A mother alligator's presence significantly reduces these risks, but only a small percentage of young alligators survive to adulthood. This is where the mother alligator's fierce protective instincts come into play. She'll guard her young closely for months, warding off threats with hisses, growls, and even physical attacks if necessary. Mmm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Learning about predators? Check out my videos on wolves and foxes. Like alligators, they're top hunters in their habitats using unique skills to survive and thrive. Don't miss out. Chapter 3 Love and Family Life. The reproductive process begins when female alligators construct nests out of mud, vegetation, and soil. They lay 20 to 50 eggs and cover them to protect them from predators and the elements. Baby alligators begin their journey as tiny chirping hatchlings, sing signaling to their mother to help them emerge from the nest after about 65 days of incubation, measuring just about 6 to 8 inches long at birth. These miniature predators are fully formed with sharp teeth and strong survival instincts. The mother carries them to the water in her mouth and remains close to guard them from predators like raccoons, birds, and large fish. During their first few months, the hatchlings stay in sibling groups called pods, which offer safety in numbers as they hunt small prey like insects, tadpoles, and small fish. As they grow into juveniles, their diet expands to, to include larger prey such as frogs, crustaceans, and small birds, and they begin exploring more independently. By the time they reach adolescence, around 2 years old, they measure 3 to 5 feet in length and are better equipped to defend themselves from predators. With their mother's care and their own instincts, many alligators successfully navigate these vulnerable years, developing the skills and strength they need to claim their own territory and thrive as apex predators in their freshwater habitats. However, during their development time, the father's role ends after mating, and he does not interact with the young or contribute to their development. This absence of paternal inv involvement is common among reptiles, where maternal care, if present at all, is typically the primary form of pr parental investment. In fact, male alligators can sometimes pose a threat to their own offspring, as they may prey on young alligators, especially when food is scarce. The mother's fierce protection and attention during the early stages of her offspring's life significantly increase their chances of survival in the wild. Chapter 4 Fun Facts and More here are some fun facts about alligators that you might not know about. 1. Alligators can survive freezing temperatures. 
in cold conditions, alligators use a technique called icing to survive. And no, I'm not talking about icing on a cake. Icing for them is where they stick their snouts above the surface of frozen water to breathe while their bodies remain submerged in a state of brumation, which is basically a reptilian version of hibernation. This incredible adaptation allows them to survive in harsh winters, coupled by the fact that alligators can stay underwater for up to two hours by slowing their heart rate. Talk about low power mode. Two, they create alligator holes. Alligators are ecosystem engineers. They dig depressions in wetlands known as alligator holes, which retain water during dry seasons. These holes provide crucial habitats for other animals like fish, birds, and turtles, making alligators vital to their ecosystems. 3. Alligators have a built-in GPS. Alligators are known to navigate back to their original territory even after being relocated. Scientists believe they are using Earth's magnetic field or other natural cues to find their way home, showcasing their impressive spatial memory. 4. Alligator jaws are powerful but precise. While alligators have one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom, up to 2,980 2, pounds per square inch, their jaw muscles for opening their mouths are surprisingly weak. This means you can hold an alligator's mouth shut with your bare hands, though it's not recommended you try for obvious reasons. 5. They're surprisingly fast on land. Despite their bulky appearance, alligators can run up to 11 miles per hour on land in short bursts. However, they prefer to conserve energy and will, they will usually only run to escape danger or to lunge at prey. So while they're fast, they won't chase you unless provoked. Finally, the American alligator was once on the brink of extinction, but made an incredible comeback, becoming a conservation success story. Alligators play a crucial role in their ecosystems by controlling prey populations and creating habitats like alligator holes, which provide water for other animals during dry seasons. They're not just apex predators, but also ecosystem engineers. Alligators are more than just fierce predators. They're fascinating creatures. From their unique vocalizations to their role in ecosystems, these reptiles are a true wonder of nature. There you have it. Now you know what alligators are, what they do, how they behave, and how they are different from crocodiles and then some. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video, Lord willing. Take care, and to God be the glory.